This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes, creators of the world's best repair manuals. Fix your car or truck the right way with our accurate and reliable information at your side. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete online manual at Haynes.com. Alternator replacement. Pull the hood release lever located on the driver's side kick panel. Slide the hood safety latch and raise the hood upwards. Support the hood with the prop rod. Loosen the air inlet tube hose clamp, then disconnect the inlet tube from the filter housing cover. Unlatch the filter cover retaining clips, then remove the cover and pull the filter out of the housing. Loosen the cable nut from the battery negative terminal, then disconnect the negative battery cable. Secure the cable aside to prevent accidental reconnection. Apply the handbrake. Chalk the rear wheels to prevent the vehicle from rolling. Remove the wheel trim cover. Loosen the front wheel lug nuts, then raise the front of the car and support it on jack stands. Remove the appropriate front wheel. Remove the drive belt splash shield. Loosen the alternator lower pivot bolt. Loosen the alternator lock nut, then turn the adjustment bolt counterclockwise until there is a lack of belt tension and the alternator belt can be removed. Remove the support bracket. Disconnect the electrical connectors from the alternator. To provide enough clearance for the alternator to be removed, the drive axle will need to be removed first. Position a large pry bar against the inner drive axle joint and carefully pry the joint out of the transaxle side gear. Remove the hub nut cotter pin and discard it. Discard the old cotter pin, you'll need a new one for reassembly. Remove the drive axle hub nut lock and spring washer. Loosen and remove the drive axle hub nut with a large socket and breaker bar. To prevent the hub from turning while you're loosening the drive axle hub nut, wedge a pry bar between two of the wheel studs. If equipped with anti-lock brakes, unclip the front wheel speed sensor harness and move it out of the way. Remove the strut to knuckle nuts and bolts tapping the bolts out with a hammer if necessary. Separate the steering knuckle from the strut flange, then guide the drive axle carefully out of the fender well. Note that if the old drive axle is being reinstalled, a new retaining circlip is recommended to replace the old one. Remove the alternator lower pivot bolt and swing the alternator out of the way. Do not remove the upper adjustment bolt and nut yet. Remove the alternator lower mounting bracket.
Slide the alternator off of the upper adjuster stud, then carefully guide it out of the vehicle. Guide the alternator into the vehicle and onto the upper adjuster stud, then screw on the adjuster lock nut. Install the alternator lower mounting bracket. Tighten the bracket bolts securely. Install the alternator lower pivot bolt and nut. Connect the electrical connections to the alternator. Tighten the nut fastening the battery positive cable onto the alternator securely. Secure the locking tab on the connector. With multipurpose grease pre-applied to the drive axle inner spleens, carefully guide the drive axle into the fender well and insert the inner spleens securely into the transaxle. It will be easiest to install the drive axle into the transaxle by making sure the gap in the retaining circlip is facing down when inserting. Insert the outer drive axle spleens into the hub assembly, then join the steering knuckle with a strut flange, align the bolt holes, and insert the flange bolts. Screw on the flange nuts, then tighten the strut to knuckle nuts to the specified torque setting. Attach the wheel speed sensor wiring harness to the noted bracket slots. Install the washer and screw on the drive axle hub nut. Tighten the nut to the specified torque setting using the same counter rotating method to prevent the hub from turning. Install the hub nut lock and a new cotter pin. Bend the ends of the cotter pin over completely. Install the alternator belt onto the alternator pulley. With the pivot and lock bolts loose, turn the adjusting bolt clockwise until sufficient belt tension has been reached, then tighten the lock and pivot bolts. Install the support bracket and tighten the fasteners securely. Install the drive belt splash shield. Install the front wheel and lug nuts. Lower the car to the ground and tighten the wheel lug nuts to the specified torque setting. Install the wheel trim cover. Unblock the wheels. Connect the negative cable to the negative terminal on the battery. Tighten the cable nut securely. Install the air filter into the housing. Install the filter housing cover. Secure the cover with the retaining clips. Connect the air inlet hose to the cover and tighten the hose clamp securely.